Hello everybody, it's another pod review. This time it's going to be the White Boot Jalukia, a ghost pepper, or you could say this is the White Ghost Pepper. The funny thing is about this one is uh, we're not sure about the st stability on this one. You don't see the pimples on it, but let me show you another thing. This is the original Ghost Pepper, Boot Jalukia. Us chili has called it the Boot Jalukia because this is what it's named. But a lot of people use ghost pepper. But ghost pepper can mean other things than naga and other peppers. So it's better to just call it by its name. It's like a tree. A tree can be called different things in different places. So that's why you use a scientific name. But that's why you call it boop. You see the pimples on it where you don't see that with the other varieties. Yes. You can see some pimple. You can see it pimply. This is a paw. You know, weather conditions do change things. I've had them as big as like three and a half, four inches. Uh, this is a smaller one. This is the first pot out of the plant. So they, they do get good size. This is a yellow Bujalokia. You can see it's starting to change orange. I might show that in the um, in this video. But it, is, it has a yellowy color like this and then it, it starts to turn orange as it more ripens. Uh, I just picked this today. It's got a little teeny green. It should be nice and yellow orange tomorrow. Uh, I eat, I've eaten this one. It gives an instant burn right away. And then it it peaks quick and hard, and then it just slows down. My wife actually ate one of these. You agree with that? Yes, I ate one of it. You agree with that? It just it, it, it burns right away, and then it just peaks quick, it, and then it does. But it does have a lasting t um, sting to it for a little bit. It Not... didn't really for me. It just really just went up and kind of lingered just for a few seconds, and then went away. Not like the other super hots for sure. Yeah, I didn't have the other super hots. So. But um, you have eaten this too, I believe, a while back. With your food i know mm -hmm. we cooked this we've been growing the ghost pepper for since 2010 i didn't even know what it was for years until last year i figured it out which is funny and that's why i get into scorpions and all these other good stuff i really don't like the taste of the boot jalokia the original red one with that floral taste i'm not a big fan i like it a lot of people do like it um this white boy not a big fan yellow i like smoother, the taste of that one yellow smoother taste not as hot um Hits the bang. And then we get this white guy. This, all these, these two peppers are actually grown in my garden. I got the, the plants from Jim Duffy from a Fine and Fire Chilies. He did send me the plants and they, they kicked them out. Um, these things are doing really well. It's a really good producer. I've probably got like 30, 40 pods on each plant, maybe more, and still flowering. This guy is actually a decent producer. He's finicky, I've noticed for me. But he's a pretty good producer as well. Once they once they go, they go. The bigger the pot, for some reason, they get bigger. I had a I had it in a ten gallon pot, and they were like this. This they're in a three gallon pot, and that's what I got. But like I said, it's the first one, so I'm gonna give it some love. That 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 plant. But this is the white Buchalokia. Um You can see it's we're not sure about the consistency of the constraint. You're gonna see in Jim Duffy's uh, refiningfirechilies.com site. Um, I actually forgot his business card. I had it. I had one. I could have dug up. I actually asked them to, um, to send me some, but uh, this thing was so packed up. You could, I don't think you could fit a card on that thing, which I'm more than happy about. But anyway, let me go ahead and start eating this guy here. Burning? Little heat. The yellow is, um, is definitely... Got a, be a bigger punch. Definitely no comparison to the red. Another fact, the ghost pepper Buchalokia, what I believe is the first pepper to be recorded and documented as hitting a million on the Scottsville scale. Of course, it's been beaten higher. They had the different Marungas. You got the Carolina Reaper, the Trinidad, Seven Pot Douglas. There's a lot of them that, that's hitting a million. Even the Primo, Brain Strain, a lot of them had a million now. And for me, for a person that's not a big fan of this guy, it's 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 tasty. I agree with um Bill Moore. I watched his uh, video earlier, and he uh, he said it's not as floral or that that taste that the Buchalokia has. It has that, but it's not, it's not as lingering taste. It's just not as, the taste that I don't like. It, it doesn't have that as much. 
This guy has a little more of a different taste too. But I'm not going to eat those now because this is about more about the white bujuloki. I just want to educate a little people on that because I know I have these pods. How's the burning? The bird is focused on the tongue and a little bit on the, the tip and on, on the mouth. The throat? No. Maybe a little bit in the going towards it. but Your tongue's like, how about the, neck, the throat and the arms? No, it's all in the tongue, man. It almost like something's like burning on the tongue. Like I got some fire on the tongue. It's kind of funny, but um, none. But it's a tasty pepper, and I'll tell you one thing. I bet you would make an awesome sauce. Imagine having just a nice white, pretty sauce out of that sucker. I had a nice big group of them guys, and no one would believe it how how it could be, how it could pack a punch like that. So it would make a really good sauce. It's good to throw in a dish. It's good to bite uh, like the wife does. She actually will put a couple of scorpion peppers into a dish or whatever we use. And then she'll actually, while she's eating, she bites and she'll still do that. And this is actually good for that, the yellow one, especially the white one if you like to eat that. Cut, chop it up on a sandwich. It's not real, real hot. Um, it's still on the tongue. I don't feel it on the throat. So... Is it making you tear up or not? No, nothing. I'm not even sweating. Not sweating. I'm not sweating. I'm not tearing. Yeah, I couldn't tell the difference. I can drink a voice. soda without a problem right now. Yeah, I couldn't tell the difference in your voice either. Yeah, it's not. It's it is probably a slight burn in my throat. Um, nah. I mean, it's more in a, in a even the back of the tongue. Mm -hmm. You could feel in the back of the tongue some. That's probably where it is. Um, but I mean, how would you rate it? Oh. Six, something like that. May, maybe a seven. Where Carolina Reaper is a, a hardcore ten. <laughs> okay. This is probably like a six and a half. Okay. Seven, you know. Would it be closer to a hala, um, habanero? Yeah. Closer to habanero. Habanero is still a little... Yeah, a strong... A Poland habanero is probably closer to that, I'd imagine. Habanero is probably still a little lighter. Um... But it's a tasty pepper, but way better than a habanero, in my opinion. That, 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 the white one is better than a habanero. Um, but it's good. I definitely would try to get some plants. I, I just looked on his site. I think it's like five ninety nine. Get yourself some plants. and uh, um, FindingFireChilies.com. You can get some plants, probably some seeds. I, I believe there's seeds on it, too. Um, it's a delicious pepper. Uh, for as far as especially the ghost family even for anything um, I'm probably gonna get some seeds for later on for next year possibly especially the white habanero maybe mix them together for a nice sauce um, but again uh, hit up the finding uh, firechilies.com Jim Duffy and uh, Bill Wallace got a nice thing going on over there um, you could also find the finding fire chilies on Facebook um, where you can maybe ask questions on that on that site there as well as he even has emails for serious inqu in inquiries like um, big orders or anything like that. He answers all. He answers everything. Um, okay, Jim Duffy, thank you very much. I just want to get this thing. Honestly, my wife had this thing tucked away for some sauce, um, and I, I, I scooped it back out. I said, "Yeah, let me have another You're one." You're stealing my stuff. Yeah, so uh, I had to snatch it back out of there and do a pod review. Um, you could actually also go to uh, Bill Moore, a site. Um, he's an excellent, nice, smooth reviewer. Um, Chuck B Biz, he's another good reviewer. He also did the um, the White Buchalokia. You could also catch them um, on their sites too. I think the Chuck Chuck Biz, I think he put it under uh, White Ghost Pepper. So, um, but you could actually check them out, especially especially the, the Chili Heads on the different groups. You could check those guys out, and I'm sure other reviewers have checked them out as well too. But you could hit them up. Um, Thanks again, Jim. Looking forward to some more, more pods. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'll be excited to see something new, maybe. Thanks, everybody. Take care.